Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel and I am an OBGYN resident physician. I am in year one, so I'm an intern and I have quite the story for you and I already have chills just thinking about this. If you're new here, I normally vlog on my channel, so this kind of content is much different and I mainly wanted to make a video for my loyal subscribers that have been around for the last four years watching me grow as a medical student. I have just recently graduated and I'm starting my new chapter as a resident physician and this is a very, very... <sighs> This is, I'm like shaking. This is a very personal story, but I have been wanting to share this for a long time now. And I think that now is finally the time. So uh, sit back and relax, cause I'm just gonna get into it. Before I get started, I do wanna say that sharing this information with you comes from a very, very vulnerable and personal space. And I, it's something I'm very proud of, but this also has been something that has impacted my entire life, my identity and it could also change your perspective about me. And of course, I'm just scared to share this because of every individual opinion that I might receive, but this is a very huge part of my life and I am very, very proud and happy that this is my life. And so I would love to share this with you because it is my biggest secret ever. About five, six-ish years ago, 23andMe changed my entire life and I had no idea that a saliva sample would have such a big impact on my life. I had gotten the 23andMe kit as a gift. It was just for fun. I wanted to explore my genetics and see where they came from and whatever else comes with genetic testing, not expecting anything to come from it. The results were available for me to open on Christmas Eve and during our annual Christmas Eve family dinner, I was like, well, they're available. Let me open them and go over the results with my family because why not? So my mom is Mexican and then my dad is German, Irish, Italian, Austrian type mix. And then, so when I opened the results, my results and breakdown didn't exactly align with what my parents had told me. Like there was a, obviously a lot of the origin from like Mexico and um, Spain, all of that stuff. But then the other side, like the white side of me did not really align. So I was like, okay, interesting. On the app, you can select to be connected with other members who have taken 23andMe that share genetics with you. And you have to sign a bunch of agreements because what you see cannot be unseen. And these connections are real, they're legit, and they could be life-changing. And so I was like, okay, whatever, I'll click it because maybe there's just some long lost cousins, nothing crazy. So, and I think I even remember asking my parents, like no one has any secrets, right? Because they might populate on here. And they're like, no, 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 no. So I selected that and lo and behold, I had a bunch of half siblings populate. Um, 23andMe was saying that these people shared X amount of genetics with me and they are likely to be my half sibling and likely to be my half sibling. And I had a few on there and I looked at my parents and I was like, so who the has the secret life <laughs> because these people are are allegedly my half siblings. And my parents looked so confused. They were just like, no, we don't have any other children. And like, none of us have any other children. It's just you guys. I don't know what those, what those, who those people are. I think it must be an error. And I believe my parents, I have no reason not to believe them. And so I was like, okay, this must be like a really weird error. Like what are the odds? but maybe this is just an error. Like I just brushed it off, all of these half siblings. I was like, eh, whatever. The next day I went to work and I was working at a hospital at the time and I was doing a lot of wound care. We had a huge list of patients that needed their wounds redressed that day. And so it was just a really busy day. So I went to work and I all of a sudden kept getting these notifications from 23andMe in the messages section. And it was people saying, or these half siblings were saying, hey, welcome to the family, sis. Like our long lost sister, welcome, hello. And I was like, what? is going on. And I was messaging back to one of them and I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like this is, I think this is an error because like you're not my siblings. I talked to my parents. They said they don't have any other children. And so they were responding like, oh, okay, well you need to talk to your mom and dad because uh, we're not gonna tell you you know, what the situation is. And so I called my mom while I was at work on break and I was like, you have to tell me what's going on right now because I am freaking out. I am don't know what's going on. These people are saying that they're my half siblings and you guys say no, but clearly there is something that you need to tell me. Uh, and I'm working with patients and I would rather have a clear head and know what's going on than to be wondering what's going on while I'm working with patients. She finally was like, you know what, Rachel, we do have something that we wanna tell you, but now obviously is not the ideal time. We didn't want you to be at work. Your dad's not even home to have this conversation with you, but 
you know, since you would like to know, then I'm gonna tell you. We used a sperm donor for you and your sister, and these must be the other families that had children from the same donor. So I was like, okay, we will talk about this later. Thank you, and I'll see you at home. So I hung up, and my coworkers had actually been up to date with what had been going on the entire day, and they were just like, what happened? And I told them and they were like, you need to sit down and you need to take a break. Do you want to go home? And I was like, no, I don't want to go home. I, I, I'm in shock right now, but I, I want to process this information and I don't want to leave. I, I love, I love working. I love doing wound care and stuff. So I was like, no, I don't want to leave. I need to finish the day. So I sat for a second, I decompressed and then I was like, let's get back to work. And at least I know what's going on and who all these people are. And I will talk to my parents later. Um, so I went home later and they sat down and explained more in depth kind of what, what had been going on with their um, like health history and the issues that they had. And what I got from it was, yeah, my parents really, really wanted to have kids. They were so desperate to have a baby and they wanted me and they wanted my sister so bad that they use a sperm donor. And I thought it was the most beautiful thing ever. And really, my dad is the hero in this because he's like not... You know, he wasn't afraid to just be like, okay, yeah, let's get a sperm donor. And I thought that was, it was just, oh, I'm like going to get emotional about this. But my whole life changed that day and for the better. And there is so much more to this story. Um, I will continue after I get a sip of water. <laughs> On the app at the time, there were four siblings there and we got connected with each other obviously through messaging and we exchanged numbers and I was texting them and then I got on the phone with one of them later that day and she gave me the whole rundown. That she gave me a whole story, their story, how they all know each other because they're from different families and their parents had actually used this website at the time. I don't know if it's still around, but you could put your donor number in and it would connect you with other families with the same donor. And so they had a connection for a very long time. You're probably asking, why did your parents wait so long? I do not blame them. I can't imagine being in that position, being a parent, and you don't look at your child every day and be like, oh yeah, their paternal genes are from a sperm donor. No, you just don't. That is your baby, that's your child. And it doesn't matter because you love them unconditionally. It does not matter where they came from. So I had asked my parents, were you ever going to tell me this information? They were like, yeah, we were, but we never knew of a good time and things would come up and it just, there was never a good time. And we don't think, we didn't think about it all the time. And of course, I do not blame that, them at all. And I, to be completely honest, I'm really happy with the way that everything played out. I think it was supposed to be like this. So I'm giving you a very short version of this story because it is super complex and I don't feel like it's my place to just disclose everything. At this point in time, there are 21 half siblings that we know of. My guess is that there are a lot more because a lot just keep coming out of the woodworks and we know that our donor donated in a sh like a three year, I think, period of time. And so we're all very close in age. And there's about eight of us that are very close. We have a group chat, we chat all the time. I see a few of them quite regularly because they're very close to me. and. You guys, this has been the greatest thing that has ever happened to me. Although this has been the biggest change to my identity ever, because obviously I'm half Mexican, but no, I'm not German. I am not Italian. I am mainly Irish and British on the um, paternal side. And then I have the half Mexican on the other side. And it has changed my life in that way in my identity, but this has made my life make so much more sense and I feel like it was the missing puzzle piece to explain my life, my interests, how I am, how I act and everything because I feel personally that, you know, that whole uh, nature versus nurture, the nature of my genetics are very strong because me with my half siblings that we have the same paternal genes, we are all so very similar, it is insane, it's, insane i mean obviously we're all very close in age but our personalities the way we talk our mannerisms our interests our taste buds everything is so similar it is mind-blowing whereas my sister and i who has you know she has the other um sperm she's a different sperm donor we're very different and that i know like siblings can be very different but i just think it's it's not coincidence that i I think that genetics are just really strong. I don't know how else to say that. In addition, I'm a first generation college graduate in my family. And for as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to be a doctor. <laughs> for as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to be a gangster. I'd always wanted to be a doctor. And my parents and family were just like, where is this coming from? Where is this passion coming from? Um, 
because I had never been exposed to it growing up. I have, we have no doctors in the family, you know, no one's been to college or anything like that. And so I had this weird like drive and passion to become a doctor and it came out of nowhere. Come to find out that my, you know, brother, I just, I'm not gonna call them half siblings because they're not, they're my brother's sisters. I love them so much. But anyways, my brother's a doctor, we have a nurse, we have a biochemical engineer, we have a pharmacist, and then we also have like videographers and photographers and these like artsy, talented singers, actresses. It's this amazing blend of science and arts and I, it's so weird. I feel like I'm one of the intersections between the like medicine science and then the arts like filming and stuff so i have these weird passions for medicine and then obviously like creating videos content stuff like that and this weird passion and drive to do these things that came out of nowhere because i had never been exposed to it ever this is obviously a very complex story and i'm not the only person involved in it um and i'm sure you still have a lot of questions and i could go on and talk about this forever and ever but i want to keep this video kind of short you can probably tell why i have some sort of reservation when it came to sharing this story i am still a first generation college graduate i still did all of the work to get to where i am today what i don't want you to take away from this video is the idea that oh i will never be able to do this with my life because I don't have it in the cards for me. I don't have the genetics to do that. That's not true. I didn't know any of this information for majority of my life. I mean, until I was already accepted into medical school, then I finally found out this information. So yes, we do have a doctor in the family. We do have people who went to college and stuff like that, but I was already on this trajectory. I was already on the path to becoming a physician and did my genetics help me get there? I don't know, I can't say that. I, I I know that I didn't have the mentors or the I wasn't raised in the environment to to go and go to medical school and become a physician. It's a huge reason why I wanted to go into obstetrics and gynecology because if it were not for this field, if it were not for my mom's OBGYN, I would not be here today. Um, you know, his knowledge, his skill, his abilities to help my mom and dad out with getting pregnant with me, I wouldn't be here and without it. And that, I mean, that has been a huge reason for my why, my, my why OBGYN, because like I said, I would not be here without this field. And I am so grateful um, for medicine and advances in technology like this to allow me to have life because I was not supposed to be here. I don't know, I, I wanted to share this with you guys and I've been wanting to share it for a long time, but like I said, it, it, did, it did come with some like hesitation just because, I mean, the nature of the story and I don't know, nature versus nurture, I, I do not know. So it's interesting to see how everything played out. It's interesting to see how many similarities I have with my siblings and and stuff like that and and like I said I this is my favorite part of me this is the I'm so proud to share this story and I feel so lucky I feel so loved and I feel so wanted I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do have additional questions and want to ask them down below you're more than welcome to and I'll do my best to answer them be kind I didn't ask for any of this I didn't ask for these genetics I didn't ask to be here or anything like that it just so happened to work out like that and I'm so glad that it did thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, yeah, until next time, take care of yourselves, be kind to yourselves, continue to work hard and all that good stuff. Okay, bye.